An insane milestone has been reached for Hyperia as track has gone in that is extremely exciting and also very important. An attraction at the park is closing for good and will not reopen for this season and oh my god. I'm devastated about it. And also, there's been a whole lot more announced as well, including some information on our beloved ride that hasn't operated in what feels like 60 years. All that and more has happened this past day at Thorpe Park. Again, I'm not counting this as an episode. Although, to be fair, if I did, that would make that series more consistent and actually weekly. But the thing is about my channel, inconsistency is key. But pretty much, I thought today we would discuss some of the insane updates going on at Thorpe Park for the 2024 season, because as much as I've talked about a lot of changes before, there's still more changes coming. And if you do want to enjoy this update and you want to see more in the future, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. So then there is a lot to go through within the park today. And I've said that multiple times already. But what can we tick off out of the new information and happenings that's quite quick? Um, uh, actually, there is the fact that the opening date for Thought Park this season in 2024 has been drastically changed. Oh no! The opening day was originally on Sunday the 24th of March. And they have now changed it to Saturday the 23rd of March. Yes, they've moved it back one day. I have no idea why that is. Maybe they were planning a pass holder day or something and then they decided, no, that's not happening. Ooh, let's move the opening back. That's pretty cool. One less day to wait until the season begins. One more day, however, to go to the park when Hyperia is not open. It's paint budget discussion time. They've done a bit of work on Burger King next to Hyperia. They've also painted the entrance and bridge to the park, a cyan blue color. Ooh, look at that. And they've even done more work on the brand new area for this year big easy boulevard i still struggle to get that name out and whilst we're discussing that area the brand new logos of the revamped rides in that area have been released and i'd like to say they're in a very similar style to say the new thought park logo where it's basically just a font slapped on a photo but in all honesty i quite like them you've got detonators here which is quite rustic and fireworky it looks like a danger sign when you fire fireworks you know oh this could go and then along with that, Big Easy Bumpers has been confirmed to be the name for the Dodgems. And I actually really like the look of that logo. It's quite nice. Big Easy Bumpers is my favourite ride at Thought Park. But considering that area is heavily under construction right now, it should be ready when the park opens in March. Fingers crossed. All I'm hoping for is because we didn't see the tidal wave fire effect, we see a firework effect on Detonator. Just fireworks go up in the sky every cycle. It'll look great, I think. But talking of blowing up stuff because fireworks go, you're not gonna put the effect in this time. Something that is getting demolished, not blown up hopefully, is the park's previous flat ride known as Slammer. Because at the end of this year, Slammer is finally departing the park after being stood still and not operating for probably a millennium by now. And yes, I know because it says, oh, the end of 2024, it's not really a 2024 insane update is it really but they confirmed over on the pass holder group that it will be going at the end of this year and that is so good because you're opening this brand new coaster maybe we will have to put up with an SPNO ride opposite it for a year but getting rid of that and maybe putting in another flat ride or i don't know something else it'll look so much better than what it does now and that is the question when they do get rid of it what does it become because i just said a flat ride it could be a new one uh a water ride a junior coaster, a Black Mirror Labyrinth expansion pack. Well, talking of Black Mirror, of course, the queue line does wrap around Slammer, so getting rid of Slammer itself, I guess we'll just see that area used as queue for Black Mirror from now on. Or won't we? Well, I'm sad to say that Thought Park have officially announced that Black Mirror Labyrinth has closed for good and will not be reopening in 2024. Oh no! Anyway, last week... That is right, if you don't understand my sarcasm and you haven't watched this channel before, I'm not sad at all about this ride leaving. My acting in the previous segment was beautiful. But yes, the attraction that sits at the back of the Walking Dead building and a lot of the time was completely broken and pointless is now closing for good. Thank the Lord. It had so much potential and you went in and again, it was just broken or the effects wouldn't work. The doors wouldn't open. But clearly from the reaction from a lot of people of this news as well, 
it's not going to be sorely missed. But yeah, I think a new ride there would be really good. Let's get back on track. And back on track we will be because as much as Black Mirror is closing and that lifetime is ending, guess what else is ending very soon? And it's sort of the beginning of something new, the construction of Hyperia. Because we're literally 10 or something track pieces away from completion and that excites me so much and so much has happened that i might actually have enough time to go and check it out myself it might get dark too early but i'll try my best two hours later cinematography this is the most frantic start to a monk's walk vlog ever we got marcus here. Say that again? we got cappuccino with us um we're basically trying to beat the sun before it goes down at the end of this this past week in court park episode and um, we are not going in there but we are here at monks Whoa. Uh, uh. we are off to see the mac the wonderful big but we are walking down to the island view upon marcus's request where we get to see all the different rides and of course Hyperia in its Omega form. But like the title of this video says and also the whole premise of me coming here. There have been some insane updates and I know I've talked about the likes of Black Mirror Labyrinth being removed. Oh no. And I know there's the likes of uh, Detonator's logo and stuff but here is what I'm really here for. Hyperia, you can see the Immelman complete, the Outer Bank complete, and the dive loop just below it is also complete. And they've even started the lift hill as well, which we'll go and take a look at in a mo. The airtime out of that Immelman is going to be crazy. And this bit, and the stall conversion is going to be an insane sensation of hang time too. Oh. Get the shot. Marcus, you haven't seen this coaster sit. You haven't seen this coaster since, um, you know, it actually went up slightly. No, I haven't. What do you think? It looks magnificent. It looks magnificent. <laughs> oh, that one was a bad one. This actually looks crazy. I, I didn't think the drop going in that much would like make such a difference. Just think. When Marcus Lee was here, imagine this sight. It's amazing. Wow. No, this is actually crazy though. Like, look at it. Me. <laughs> but one thing no one mentions is how long that stalls out for. Like, you start upside down about here, and you go all that way upside down. That is going to be probably one of the best inversions out there in existence. I didn't make an in the world joke. That is incredible. But as dark as it is, as you can see, the whole coaster isn't lit up, but the station has the lights on inside, which uh, we actually got a look at thanks to the Thought Park social media team. Insert images now. Wow, doesn't it look cool? But hopefully we get some more details on that soon. Look at that piece of track there. Let's go around and have a look because that is the most exciting part. If I step upon my log, the lift hill started going up. And it's actually gone up quite far to be fair. Well, compared to half the ride, it's not really that far up, but there it is. See like the motor and the concrete like putting a bit at the bottom. And then it's just gonna keep going up. Wow, but yeah, that's gonna have a chain going up it and you're going to go all the way up there. Incredible. Who is this random stranger on Monk's Walk? And I think after all those updates, we finally beat the sun because now it's pitch black and um, trying to do updates now would be a mistake. Thank you for watching this episode of This Past Thought Park in Thought Park. Night night.